Our next experiment is based on sound. And do you remember how sound waves travel? Sound waves need a medium to travel. So in most cases, sound travels in air medium by vibrating the molecules of air in between. So now I'm going to show you an experiment of how the pitch of the sound changes with the change in the number of air molecules. So shall we begin? You will need identical glasses. Here I have four identical glass tumblers. So make sure they are identical. You can use any number of glasses. And you will need some water. So what I am going to do next is and I forgot to tell you, you also need some chopsticks I'm using here. However, you can also use a steel spoon or something. So are you ready? I will begin by pouring water into the glasses, but in different quantities. For example, the first glass is full of water. The second glass I'm pouring lesser water, say three-fourth. In the third glass, I am pouring half, half cup of water. And finally, in the last cup, I am pouring a very little amount of water. So, can you see the difference? The first cup is full. The second cup is, say, three-fourth. The third cup is half filled and the final cup has very little water. So what I'm going to do now is I'm taking my chopsticks and tapping each glass one at a time. So did you notice the change in the pitch? I'll do it once again slowly this time. So in the first cup. So did you notice? And now the second cup, it was a higher pitch. And the third cup, it is still higher. And finally, the last cup is the highest. So, why is there a change in the pitch? This is because sound travels through the air medium to reach the water. And now, the amount of air in this cup is lesser compared to the amount of air in this cup which is even sorry the number uh, which is even lesser than the amount of air in this cup and finally in this cup there is no air space so the, there is a difference in pitches you hear a higher pitch for the cup that has the least amount of water once again, I'll show you. So, did you notice? This is the principle they use in the xylophone. Have you heard of the instrument, the xylophone? Yes, you have different pitches, right? That is because of this. So, you can use this to play any songs that you like. Because once you have a minimum of seven glasses as you know there are seven musical notes right so once you have a minimum of seven glasses you can play any song that you like so i hope you enjoyed this experiment of air vibration and sound